So there's been a lot of myths in every Mario game. Like, for example, you can actually get over the flagpole in Super Mario Bros. 1. And supposedly, you just lower this platform. That seems good enough, and then you jump to the platform like that. Okay. Running start. Jump! There it is! I got over the flagpole! I mean, there's not much to do past it, but you can still do it. Myth confirmed. And we're gonna be busting a bunch of Mario myths today to see if they're true or false. Starting off with some simple ones, like Mario can climb underneath the bridges in Mario 64. All right, so that's the bridge in bob on Battlefield here. And now apparently if you just jump, yeah, oh, there you go. You can actually climb on it like you would on uh, other climbable surfaces. Myth confirmed. And we're just gonna keep on building into more and more crazier ones like an unreleased Mario Galaxy DS port or a secret Mario Sunshine level in Mario Odyssey. But for now, there's a secret Minus World in the original Super Mario Bros. game. All right, so here we are at the end of level 1-2 and apparently the entrance for this Minus World is you just gotta jump at the very top of this pipe here while crouching. Now it doesn't seem to be working, or this is very hard just to do. Oh, look, I'm in the wall! Oh! And then I think we just go in this pipe. There it is, world negative one! It exists! Here we are in the minus world. Okay, so it looks like this minus world is just this looping water level, but still, it totally exists, so myth confirmed. The character Il Piantissimo is the running man from The Legend of Zelda. Now, when testing this out, there is actually no way of removing his mask in-game. You never see his face. But hackers have removed his mask, and when doing so, you'll see that, yeah, his face definitely has a lot of similarities to the running man. And considering that both of these characters race you in their respective games, I'll go with myth confirmed. You can play as Magikoopa in Mario Kart 64. If we take a look at this game, it's pretty basic. There's only eight characters. We know all these guys. However, there have been many screenshots and even gameplay clips that show Magikoopa as a playable character. And these were all from Nintendo themselves, even appearing on the title screen when this game was still called Mario Kart R. However, this character turned out to not be a secret unlockable or anything, as people have found no files of him in the game. He was planned to be in it, which was where all the screenshots came from, but for one reason or another, they replaced him with Donkey Kong. Myth busted. Now before we get into the more crazy myths later in this video, we have to bust a few more basic ones first. Like this myth, there's a secret breakable wall with a 1-up in Womp's Fortress. Okay, so here we are at the tower, and apparently, you're just supposed to punch the sides, and one of these, there you go, is a fake wall with a 1-up. Myth confirmed. There's this mysterious fog in Jolly Roger Bay that only appears for the first star, and goes away permanently once that star is collected. Okay, so here we are. I'm opening the door for Jolly Roger Bay for the very first time, as you can see. And I'm selecting the first star, and there we go. There is indeed fog. Yeah, this fog is pretty cool. I do like the atmosphere it gives. Okay, so here is the very first star of Jolly Roger Bay, and I just collected it. Okay, and I'm selecting mission two this time, and the fog is gone, huh? Look at that. Okay, but the real test, I'm gonna exit the course now, and now go back to the first level. And the fog is gone here as well, even though the ship is sunken. So there it is, the fog only appears and now it goes away forever after you got the first star. Myth confirmed. There's a secret book hidden in the structure of the mission Red Coins in a Bottle from Super Mario Sunshine. And this structure here apparently has this book hidden. Maybe if we go in here or one of these holes here. You can't seem to see inside this structure though. What if we go, oh, first person. Keep your eyes peeled for any books around here. Okay, let's try this hole, how about? There's a door. Oh, there it is. That's definitely a book. Yeah, there's this door here and we can't open it or anything, but if we tilt the camera, 
we see the book, and the book is right there. Upon further research, I found that this book was originally supposed to be used in this mission, and the goal would have been to find the book and bring it back to the Noki Elder. But this was eventually scrapped and just made into a red coin mission. But as you saw, the asset for the book was still placed there. Myth confirmed. You can unlock Waluigi in Mario 64 DS. While this rumor really gained steam when this promotion of the game was released that was all about showcasing the character Waluigi in that game, and it showed the character's abilities and moves. Plus, many people claim that this was from an official source. It did also make sense, as you could already switch characters in this game using these doors, and one door was suspiciously left blank, seemingly for Waluigi. However, the creator of this promo later revealed it to be fake, as an April Fool's joke. Myth busted. Nintendo reused the art from a Campbell's soup can as the initial cover to Mario Party Star Rush. And I mean, when comparing these images, yeah, they're definitely the same artwork. And the suit promo was in 2013, while this box art was revealed in 2016. So myth confirmed, right? Well... It turns out that this photo is actually a common stock artwork of the Mario cast that is used in many promotional material. It was used before the suit promo and even after this cover was revealed as well. And since this was just a tentative cover needed for the reveal of Mario Party Star Rush, they just needed some quick artwork to throw on. Myth busted. You can unlock Diddy Kong as a secret character in Mario Kart 8. Now there is no method I found in how to actually unlock him, but many fans believe that he was in the game. And this is because in the official Spanish Nintendo Power magazine, they showed the official characters in the roster and had Diddy Kong as one of those characters. However, at the game's launch, Diddy Kong was nowhere to be found. But shortly after, some leaks came out showing him in the actual roster along with many other new characters. So he must be coming in the DLC then, right? Well, these leaks were then also proven to be false, as none of these characters ever made it into the final game. Myth busted. Speaking of Diddy Kong in Mario Kart, apparently Diddy Kong drives all the buses in Toad's Turnpike. Alright, so here we are in Toad's Turnpike. Now let's just find the bus. And there is a bus right there. Now, let's look at the driver's side. Oh, you know what? I could kind of see it, but that looks like a silhouette of Diddy Kong, no? Yeah, he's got the tail, he's got the hat. Oh, that's definitely Diddy Kong driving the bus, no way. You know, like, okay, silhouette is kinda hard to make out, but if I had to give my best guess, I'd go with that is actually Diddy Kong, so myth confirmed. There's a secret ghost at the end of level 4-4 in Mario 3D Land. So apparently if you just stare out in this field, a ghost will appear, so I got time to kill. Let's see when this guy appears. What's that? Is that it? Behind the, behind the clock. Oh! That's a ghost! Look at him. He was hiding behind the clock, but now you can totally see him. And then he just disappears? This is especially odd though, because this ghost never appears anywhere else in the game. And it has a strong resemblance to the mysterious figures that appear in Mario Galaxy 2. What's also interesting is that this is the level 4-4. And in Japan, 4 is seen as an unlucky number, which may have been why they included this secret ghost in this specific level. Myth confirmed. Luigi has a shadow of him hanging himself in Luigi's mansion. This occurs when Luigi picks up this phone and lightning strikes at the same time. Then you'll see this interesting shadow of Luigi from the lightning. Now while the shadow certainly looks like Luigi hanging, I'm not convinced that this is actually what's happening here. People say that's the hand, but it looks like one very skinny and blocky hand to me, so I'd say that this is actually the tube of the vacuum. Then the other question is why is the shadow so high? Well, I think it's due to the lower camera angle that occurs when you pick up the phone, and the light source of the lighting possibly coming from the character's camera. But what do you guys think? I'm saying that this myth is busted though. You can play as Green Yoshi in Mario Sunshine. 
If you played this game, you'll know that there are many colors of Yoshi, however, none of which are green. But in several official renders of this game, and in the beta screenshots of actual gameplay, you can see Mario riding on a green Yoshi. This led many fans to believe Yoshi was some sort of unlockable color. Plus, you could actually see green Yoshi briefly before Yoshi runs out of juice. However, it was later revealed that green Yoshi was removed in the game, and the only way to play him is by using a hacking method like Action Replay. Myth busted. Mario 3 never actually happened and is all a play. Now, a lot of people began suspecting this when looking at various unusual things that were only present in this Mario game. Things like how at the start, a curtain rolls up, all the platforms are bolted to the sky somehow, you seem to walk off a stage at the very end of every level, and scaffolding holds up many other platforms too. And while the evidence seems convincing, how can we know for sure? Well, it was later confirmed by the main man himself, Shigeru Miyamoto, on a video uploaded by Nintendo in 2015, where he simply nodded yes when asked if this was true. Myth confirmed. There is an unreleased port of Mario Galaxy on the DS. So this one is gonna require a bit of research, right? I can't just walk into my local GameStop and ask for Mario Galaxy on the DS, or I'd probably get some really weird looks. This whole myth spawned when a trailer of the DS port released online. It showed touchscreen functionality, two-player co-op with Luigi, and a menu on the second screen. However, this video was later revealed to be fake, made by this guy Pablo for a school project of all things. All I can say is I hope you got a good mark in the class, but myth busted. Mm. Luigi is a secret playable character in Mario 64. The myth started when people saw this statue in the castle courtyard with this text under it. Now the text is super blurry and compressed, but many fans thought it said L is real 2401, with L standing for Luigi. But other people just say that this reads Eternal Star, which makes a bit more sense considering it's a star statue. But even though many claim to actually unlock Luigi, no one has actually shown proof of doing so. Funny enough, Enough though, in 2020, the source code for this game was leaked and it actually had a model of Luigi in the code that was never used. However, this was due to the game originally having multiplayer in it, but it was cut due to hardware limitations. Also, this same plaque was later used in Ocarina of Time, which likely means this text really wasn't supposed to mean anything and was just a placeholder. I mean, come on, L is real from this this? Nah, I'm not having it. Myth busted. You can play as Thwomp in Mario Kart 64. But not just any Thwomp, but specifically this one stuck in this cage named Marty by the fans. This myth started when a video uploaded in 2007 showed a method to unlock him, where the cage he was in was opened up. So I'm gonna test out this method myself. Okay, so here we are in time trials as Bowser in Bowser's castle. And okay, I'm just gonna interject here. So long story short, I copied all the steps in the original video until I reached this staircase, which I found to be impossible to climb up, even after numerous attempts. And when comparing my test to the original video, he seemed to randomly gain a bunch of speed somehow to go flying over the stairs, which doesn't work in practice. Not only that, but the cage opening up seems very fishy in the original too, so this hoax is definitely busted. Mm. Nintendo is making Mario Sunshine DLC for Mario Odyssey. This myth started when a very short video was uploaded on YouTube that showed Isle Delfino being present in Mario Odyssey. This did actually make sense at the time, considering Nintendo's other big Switch game, Breath of the Wild, did actually get DLC shortly after its release. So looking at the success of Mario Odyssey, it would only make sense that this game got DLC around this time as well. However, the environment in this video was just ripped straight straight from Mario Sunshine whereas Nintendo always remakes their throwback levels from scratch. And considering it's now the year 2022 and we still have no DLC in Mario Odyssey, either this is the longest development time for any DLC, or this myth is busted. Mm. 
And the final myth of this video is that this channel will reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of October. Let's see if we can confirm this one too. And thanks for watching, everyone.